Hi, thanks so much for tuning in to Mom Boss Chronicles. My name is Jen. This is Sue. And this is Danielle. We are three moms that work together in real estate and are good friends and here to talk to you about fun topics, the good, the bad, the ugly of mom struggles, real estate, and other fun stuff. So make sure to subscribe to listen to more. Hello, everybody. Welcome back today to Mom Boss Chronicles. Today, our topic is little kids, little problems, big kids, big problems. And uh, we have a special guest here today. Jen, would you like to introduce your friend? Sure. My really good friend, Dawn, who is a guidance counselor in a high school setting. Dawn has a seven-year-old, but, you know, having that, you know, you've been a guidance counselor how many years now? So, we'll just show it now. So a total of 11. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And mostly working with high school students. Yes. Wow. So, I mean, I love to pick your brain about, you know, our kids are getting older. What are things that we can do to prep, you know, because when they were younger, the tantrums, that was, you know, mm-hmm. it sucked that you just waited an hour and they were happy. Huh? Mm-hmm. Like you could fix their boo-boos and, you know, their little issues that they had when sleep or now that they're getting older, it's harder to fix. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I just I can't stress enough when they're little is just at a young age, just starting with the social media. Mm. I'm a school counselor in a high school and, you know, I see, I, you know, I, I work with teenagers and what I, the social media that's popular now. Snapchat. The, Snapchat's a big one. Yeah, scary like, one. Facebook, forget it. That's apparently for them, for the older oh, people. Oh, that's, that's for us dinosaurs. Yes, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Us geriatric millennials. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap, and yeah. TikTok, right? TikTok, Snapchat. I mean, even like Instagram isn't even like a big, you know, thing for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they actually communicate through Snapchat. That's how they talk. They like snap each other. Yeah, my right? like, and uses, I'm always hearing it going off and that scares me because it disappears. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't. Right. You yeah. can't track what they're saying or doing. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had um, I had a student once who was having a problem with the social media and like things that, you know, she was reading and seeing. And I, I said to her, I'm like, why don't you just delete it? Yeah. I'm like delete Let it, it from your phone. I'm like, that's an easy solution. If it's, you know, out of sight, out of mind, you don't have to look and read these things that upset you. Yeah. And she's like, well, then how will I communicate with oh, people? No. I was like. I thought they say connected, right? Yeah. I said, don't you just talk on the phone or text? They're like, ew. That was a response. Ew, no. <laughs> they don't text. Yeah. When we were growing up, all through Snapchat. we didn't even have cell phones in high school. Like, I didn't. I didn't have a cell phone until maybe my senior year. But, mm-hmm. like, there was no social media. There were no cameras. Yeah. Not even on the phone. Yeah. Yep. Have so, you seen a change in the past 11 years, like, since you started? I have. I definitely have. I just, I do, I feel like it's students, young teens, even like children my age, like seven, I just see like the insecurities, you know, and building up, you know, I mean, you figure, you know, even for us as grown adults, you know, we can go on, you know, Facebook and Instagram and, you know, know that sometimes the things that we might see people posting, they're trying to make it paint a really pretty picture. And yeah, like I remember talking to someone once who's basically bashing their husband and then later on i see on instagram you know a picture of flowers that he sent yeah. her it's like hashtag yeah. blessed yeah you know yeah. like you were just bashing. <laughs> no yeah things aren't always what they seem you're old enough to know that right you know that yeah. you know but i still feel that sometimes you know I'll, I'll go on like social media maybe like i'm not in a great mood or in a great place at that moment and i'll see stuff or everyone looks really happy and then like i might not be in a good place that time so i like just don't want to you know look at it anymore or but, FOMO. I see people. Yes, yeah, yeah. FOMO. <laughs> but still, but yeah, exactly. But I'm still, you know, an adult. So I know like a lot of what I see isn't what it is. But you figure with these teenagers, you know, and children going on, like their brain isn't fully developed oh until God. about 25. So wow. I can just imagine for them, like how it makes them mm-hmm. feel, especially at a point in their life where they're still like insecure and mm-hmm. discovering themselves. And I remember that mean girl era. Like, yes. Middle school, rough, high school, rough. Mm-hmm. Like, one minute you're friends with somebody, the next you're not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's rough. It's rough. Yeah. It is. And it's hard because, like like you said, what are you supposed to do? Not give them a phone? I mean, you want to be able to communicate with your kid. Like, when then they're the kid without a phone. Yeah. And that I made fun of her. Right? Yeah, right? That's so true. <laughs> I know. That's why I think, like, I just think it's a distress, especially at a young age, just to, you know, talk about, talk to your children about, like, social media and just tr- open that dialogue. Open it up. You know, yeah. let them know how it can be a little unhealthy and not to believe everything that you read and everything that, you know, you see. I was saying before that my daughter, she likes Roblox and she was listening to one of like the little Roblox like shows that was on. And I heard, you know, the other side of the room, I heard like a girl's voice saying, oh, she's so pretty. She's beautiful. I wish I was her. I wish I mm-hmm. looked like her. 
And I walked right in and I was just like, what are you watching? And she knows me. She's like, I'm sorry, I'll turn it off like right away. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but do you know why I don't want you listening to that? Mm-hmm. And then she's like, why? And I was like, because there's another girl saying that she wishes that she was someone else. She wishes she looked like someone else. I'm like, you should be happy with who you are. You know, you're unique. There's no one else like you. Never wish that you looked like someone else or that yeah. you were. So and again, she, you know, she just turned seven. This is when she was six. I just try like you know. building up that self-esteem. Like, yeah, I, like, yeah, I, I'm something I haven't even thought about. I have a seven-year-old too, but yeah, you have to like remind them to that like, they have to feel good about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Not compare themselves. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So much more in their face too with social media, with, yeah ipads and you know you know everything's on demand and they have it in, in that moment and like for us it was different we had Absolutely. You know, magazines you know or yeah. vogue and yeah you know look like so and so but you know it, was, it wasn't so in our face at, at all times so it's really crucial right as a parent to like exactly the conversation you had with your daughter and we have to keep reinforcing that stuff i, I yeah. presume right absolutely yeah. and just and the filter is like the filter is me and again we know when we see people with yeah. photos we're like wow they, you know the feminine <laughs> you could do like the you could yes. photoshop oh my gosh yeah your teeth bright white you yeah. can fix the face you could do you could do anything yeah you know so yeah, and we realize that, but then, you know, kids are seeing this and they're like, oh, I'm so pretty. Like, you know, it, and you're so right about their brain not being fully yep. developed. They're getting so much images, right? Mm-hmm. And like, oh, it's scary because it's like, what is leaving a repression? Yeah. And are they walking away with? And I guess having that dialogue is so, because, yeah, yeah. Brand. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like my daughter, she's going through a phase now where she like she's loving Taylor Swift. Uh-huh. So... You know, she'll show her pictures because she's like, what does she look like? She started listening to some of her songs. Yeah. I'll show her like on my phone, I'll show her like a picture. But then last night on Netflix, there was like a documentary for Taylor Swift. And you see Taylor Swift when she's just sitting at home and like, you know, she's got hair up in a ponytail and not all that makeup. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And she was almost like, like you could tell she was looking like, that's Taylor Swift. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. 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 They're just human too. She's like, yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Not always glammed up. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so with high school kids you're seeing the social media influence so staying on top of that is I wonder if there's a is there a way to track your kids on social media I'm 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 probably right yeah you can follow them right but you I don't think you profile or I don't think you can see their inbox unless you're going in but they delete things I know yeah it's scary they have so much on their fingertips I I mean to think about teenager I kept secret oh yes not even imagine it. So even if there was yeah, so one, yeah, these apps as a yeah. teenager, forget it. They figure out a way around it. Oh yeah, yeah. And and a lot of them, they have tracks, like they have trackers on their phone too, where like I'll have a student come in and they're like upset, you know, because someone said that they were going to be hanging out with them, but they're like, but they're here instead. I'm like, well, how do you know that they have their locations on? Wow. They have so bizarre. Parts. They actually like track each other. I know. Yeah, it's so bizarre. Yeah, I've never yeah. wanted anyone doing right. Yeah, <laughs> which like I remember being a teenager. Like I remember like the hangout was like the the mall, like the movie theater. Yes, yeah. that yeah. was like the hangout. And like I just remember if like I found out that someone else, like a friend of mine, like down the road was at someone else's house that night, and we're like finding it out and being like a little upset. But yeah. I can't imagine like knowing all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and your friends are right. you yeah. doing you know that really seems so much more blatantly rude to so, like oh i have my i have my my location turned on but yeah yeah that's crazy yeah wow and are okay. you noticing obviously bullying is that a hot issue yeah uh i mean it, it definitely see yeah like you know and and it's it's you know it's dicey because you know if two girls could be fighting you know also one could say it's bullying but then it could also be like a conflict if the other one gets involved so they're using that word yeah it's a trigger it's the word. word i know the minute the, the minute like the word is used you know and yeah and you know it's a subject you know and like something we definitely don't take lightly at the school we're definitely on this and you know sometimes students are you know confused like a student ever one time was like well i don't understand like i just rolled my eyes at this at this person like why you know, why can that be like, why can I be in trouble for that? You know, why is that a bad thing? You know, and, and we try explaining, you know, well, try to understand, like maybe this student woke up this morning, you know, went on the bus, someone tripped them, went to their, you know, first class, someone like, you know, laughed at them, made fun of them. And then maybe just all these things are happening throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, you just roll your eyes at them. And that could just be the icing on the cake. You know what I mean? Um, That's why, like, just try just to be nice to everyone. Like, even little things like an eye roll that you might think is no big deal. Like, you don't know maybe what they were going through that entire day. And that could be a very big deal to them. Yeah. 
I know. Kids are sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Very. I know. So do you find that they're opening up and talking to you or is it hard to get them to open up a higher feeling? They do. We definitely do have like a number of kids that will come down. Unfortunately, a lot of students at the same time, when they come down, they're like, you know, I don't want you to say anything or call this student down because right. a lot of times like, they don't draw attention. I don't want and, to draw attention yeah. to their problem. Binge yeah. and shoes. You're not going to get it out of that is or whatever yeah. that thing is. Yeah. yeah. They'll be like, I'm going to be a snitch. And then, and I tell them like, listen, I'm just like, no one should be treating you with any kind of disrespect. Yeah. I'm like, if anyone is bothering you, I'm like, you come, you let us know right away. You let an adult know, anyone in the school know. I said, and we have a way of, um, you know, approaching it where we don't even have to say that you're the one that came and said something. Yeah. Like if this person is giving you any kind of problems, I'm like, you have other friends that I'm sure have heard about it, it, have witnessed it. So we can easily say if ever need be, like someone else could have come down and Mm -hmm. reported it, you know? So that's why I tell them like, and if they approach you and ask if you said something or why did you say something? I say, just play down. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer that. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, and, and I and I try to explain to them, too, you know, I, I've had a number of students that have come down and, like, didn't want to see anything. And I've said to them, listen, I said, you know, you're fortunate where you have a family that supports you. You have other friends that support you. I said, so right now, you know, that's good. And you also, like, feel confident enough to come to me and to say something. I said, just know that there are other students in the school that might not have that family support that you have, don't have those friendships you yeah. do, might not be you know, as confident just to come to guidance and to say something, said, by you opening your mouth and saying something, you could prevent this, quote unquote, bully from doing this to another person, like another yeah, victim right. that might not have the confidence that you do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, yeah. I love that you want that open communication yeah. with them. That's oh, yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. I feel like somebody needs to be their safe space. Yeah. Like they probably find it hard to talk to each other, but if they can talk to an adult, thank God for you and other guidance counselors. And I'm, yeah. I try to tell myself this and I hope I will be that parent. I want to be that open mom, like with my kids' friends, maybe they don't feel comfortable going to their parent, that they can come to me and talk to me. Because I feel like for them, a lot of it is just talking it out, right? They just want to talk it out with yeah. someone. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and then and once they actually like get it out, you know, they and, like, hear themselves actually saying it, you know, that's when they realize like, you know, this is wrong. Yeah, I probably should say something. Because a lot of times they will be a little hesitant at first and don't want to, you know, you know, write it, you know, discuss it or even like open write a up. statement. But you know, in the end, you know, we're, you know, they're happy that they did. Yeah. You know? well, I'm sure it's scary, right? Because the two, yeah. going back to the social media thing, like maybe the bully is like, oh, so-and-so, mm-hmm. like what a narc or something, you know, and then putting them on blast on social media. So yeah. like <laughs> you have all the buzz. That's a generic. But yeah, I'm sure that's like another factor too that makes kids apprehensive to yeah. you know, open up. Yeah. Yeah. But I will say it is nice to see, too, like I've even had students come to me that aren't the ones that are having problems with another student, but the ones that are witnessing it uh-huh. and the like advocates. They're, yeah, they're yeah. advocating for them. If you see something, in. say something. Yes. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah. And I have to say, like, we, you know, especially like at our school, you know, we like the, the administration, like the um, the school resource officers, like they make that very clear all the time to students. Like if you see something, say something. And I have to say, they're they're definitely good with that, which is wonderful. I feel like that's important, teaching kids empathy. I'm trying so hard to teach my son that. Like, mm-hmm. if you see somebody going through something, like, put yourself in their shoe. Yeah. And I yeah. think teaching them yeah. empathy, I hope, yeah. helps. Or it's so hard because you raise your kids and, like, I hope they're going to do the right thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. I kind of said that to Michael, too. Like, if you you know, he's only in preschool, but he's going into kindergarten. But, like, if you see your friend's having a tough day or, like, is sad or something or sitting by themselves, mm-hmm. like, go sit with them and yeah. talk to them and yeah, by your right. Because yeah. how would you feel? Yeah. As you that mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think, right, the more we can teach our kids, like, it will, like, spider out more. Yeah. You know, right? Like, friend helping a friend or even if it's not a friend and someone you don't even really know, maybe they're going to turn into a friend. Yeah. And, but, um, yeah. you know, I remember, like, in high school, like, I don't know, some people getting bullied or whatever, you know, we were... Listen, high school is a tough place to be in. Yeah. You know, it's a really tough place and social media doesn't help. But I think even maybe any of us may have experienced or saw the bullying or, you know, cattiness of between girls. Like, you know, you have rumors. Up, oh, yeah, all the yeah. rumors. Right. Yeah. The, but we wrote it on bathroom wall. <laughs> you know, it was a little different. Then. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's nothing new. Right. And like, 
you know, as a as especially for for the young ladies out there, you know, like stick up for your fellow girl. Ah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's a good message, right? Yeah. You get to yeah, you know, support each other, stick up for each other. Absolutely. Yeah, because I feel like that age you turn on each other. I yep. don't know why, girls. Uh, yep. Low self esteem. I think it's you know going back to building up that self esteem. You turn on each other because you want to build yourself up, but you're hurting someone else to build yourself up, and it's not obviously a good thing to do. Yep. So or try to be the cool kid and fit in. Yeah, with kids. yeah, it's just not cool. Yeah. I'm not looking <laughs> forward to the teenage years. I'm not yeah. scared. I no. feel like you could already. See, my son's going into second grade, and I can already see the kids who are bullies. Oh, that's rough. A little yeah. a holes. <laughs> I think it's I think it starts young, you know. It does. Right. It's a personality yeah. trait. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard because you want to protect your child. Oh, you yeah. It's so hard to shelter them and protect them, but this is the real world. Then it's the yeah. real world. Yeah. yeah, and they may experience that in working life too. You know, it's yeah. like learning conflict resolution in a way and how to deal with tough personalities and you know and how to work through it. Right. Yeah. You know, and it's so weird because like. I don't know. In one, in one, out of one side of the math, it's like you know, keep your hands to yourself and you don't hit back, and you know, be kind and be whatever. But at the other side of the mouth, it's like, no, you can hit back if you're not first, don't and stick back. up for yourself, yeah. and don't be a doormat, you know. And it's yeah. like really so, like it, I'm trying try to figure out how to like navigate a, a clear message. I know it's so. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right with that. Yeah, it does. It gets. It gets. Yeah, it gets. A little dicey, yeah. Like, just like yeah. you said, you're trying to tell you how to stick up for yourself, mm-hmm. but yeah, you don't want them to get taken advantage of. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you don't want them obviously to be in conflict. It's hard. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel like the most important thing is communication. Then, right? Counsel the teacher. Talk to you know. And I guess we have to tell them that too. If you, something's going on in school, and you don't want to talk to mommy. Maybe you should talk to your teacher or say something. Yeah. Do parents and, get involved a lot at the, at the high school age? You guys, they do. Yeah. 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 They still get involved, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. They do. Do some parents come to you, like, and say, like, I see something's wrong with my child and ask you, like, yeah, like, I've definitely had, you know, some parents for different reasons just feel like maybe they can't, you know, get through to their child at home. They think that something might be going on and they're just not opening up about it. You know, still ask me, can you just call my child down and just speak with them? And, you know, and, you know, and I will. And, you know, obviously right off the bat, you know, they're not going to open up and tell me everything going on. But my goal is to just at least get them comfortable enough with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that if there is a time when they really do feel the need to want to talk to, they know like, you're there. They'll know, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Are there things that parents look out for for their kids? Like, would you say? I would just say like a cha- like change in behavior is a, you know, like withdrawn. Withdrawn. Like, yeah. yeah. Like if you find that your child, you know, is just not talking to their friends anymore, doesn't want to do the things that they used to do. Yeah. You know, stops, you know, if they were maybe playing sports and they just decide to stop playing, if they have certain things that were important to them and certain objects and they start giving them up, things like that. Like things I found joy in. Yeah. Definitely important things to Mm -hmm. more. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's hard. My son, uh, this summer, uh, I remember he like loves Pokemon and he has, I think, a Pokemon backpack or a shirt he was wearing. And he's like, the kids told me that's not cool. I'm like, oh, I want you to oh, like on all the right. I'm like, no, if you like it, please don't stop because somebody yeah. said that's not cool. Yeah, yeah, they're mean already. I know, know. I know, and it's and that's like I tell my daughter too. You know, I'm just like, I'm like, you almost have to feel bad. I, I try to tell her, I'm like, feel bad, you know, for these other people if they're trying to bring you down. I'm like, if they're trying to bring you down and you're nice and you've done nothing wrong to them, then they must not be happy with themselves and they're trying to bring you down along with them and. You know, and then I, I tell her too. you know, I, I try to tell her, you know, if someone says or does something to upset you, tell them right then and there, like that person, like, stop, don't do that again. Yeah. Oh, like, well, and then if they do do it again, after you've already tried on your own to tell them not to, then you tell an adult. Yeah. And you tell your teacher, you tell if it's a principal, another teacher, anyone that you can. I'm like, and you let mom and dad know too. Mm-hmm. You know, and I told her same thing. I said, and same goes if you see a friend. If you see a friend and that's maybe like, you know, getting like, you know, bullied by another child or someone else is messing with a friend, try to st- always stick up for that friend. Yeah. yeah. You know, this way, if they're not sticking up for themselves, you know. Yeah. I like that. I'll, yeah. Power yeah. number is if you have yeah. friends coming yeah. forward and so like, yeah. stop. I will always tell my son, how would you feel if mm-hmm. someone did that to you? And it sounds simple, but to a seven-year-old actually saying it and having him tell me how he would feel. Putting them, yeah. Puts it in perspective for him, I right. think. Right. Yeah, we have to remember they are little. They don't yeah. have the dimensions we have. Right. Or, you know, 
Yeah. They're thinking differently. So we have to yeah. teach them how to like open their mind. Even yeah. though they're so yeah. funny and charismatic and have big person. Yeah. 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 Forget. Oh my like, God. Forget that. Like, oh, they're wait, still they're not facing. Yes. You know, on that. There was actually this kid in my son's daycare as well. And like, you know, he, he, his dad passed away and, you know, he's really open about it. I mean, we have mm. therapy, we talk about it daily. So like he'll sometimes as well, like, oh, my dad passed away and his heart was really sick or, you know, but there was a little kid that just over the course of like, like they got back into, like the kid came back to school or something like that. He was there away for a while and he's just kept going like, well, why did your dad die? And your dad's dead? Well, why did he die? He'd ask it every single day. Yeah. Like eventually the teacher said something to me. She's like, I'm so sorry. We're working on this, you know, like, and, and like, even I'm in the room and the kid's like, Michael, your dad died. Why? You know, and wow. the teacher was like, enough, you know, like, yeah. And pulled him aside or whatever, but it's just it's bizarre that even at the age of like four, you know, that, that, that like that yeah. yes, yeah. that like prodding. And does he even realize that he's being cruel that other child? Right. Like, yeah. I think he did. Yeah. I think he did. Mm. He looked evil. <laughs> no, I think I think he did. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. That's yeah. yeah. That's but, you know, for and like I have a sensitive kid, like, mm-hmm. and he's crying about it and he's upset. And like, no, you don't want to be reminded and you know by a peer right. about something like it makes that. me want to homeschool my kid forever okay i know <laughs> i hear that like more and more right and it, you do want to shelter them but is that the right thing also no you can't just keep them in no. a little bubble because no. they grow up and they probably have a culture shock like you yeah. get in a bubble and that's not how the world yeah. works yeah yeah it's so tough it is it's rough not right. looking forward to the teenage years years but uh you know obviously looking forward to my children growing into amazing people yeah but uh, it's going to be a little stormy i said <laughs> Is but you figure, but they and I mean, but they listen, you know, like they definitely take everything in, you know, that's I think something so important to think about too is just if you really just take the time just to sit and just to talk to them and just yeah. ask them questions and just listen and show them that you're listening. Like, I guess spending that one on one, oh my gosh, because yeah. parents, how many times are we distracted? When we're there? And absolutely, right. it's so like, easy just to want to do other things uh-huh. while you're sitting, watching TV or playing a game, you know, getting cleaning done and other things like that, but. If you actually just take the time just to sit and just to talk to them and ask questions, it'll, it's interesting, like, the stuff that, that they'll say. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> Harper, one day, just, again, had her in school and they're listening. My husband was messing around with me, like, teasing me. And Harper's in the room and she goes, hey, Dad, be nice to Mom like Martin Luther King. Oh. oh. They were, like, learning about Martin Luther King. Yeah. Uh, so be sweet. nice like Martin Luther King. <laughs> they're always listening, right? Like, they are. That is great. But it's so true. And, um, you know, I think, Danielle, you had mentioned another episode about you spend one-on-one time with Dylan. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I guess do things like that, right? Yeah. And that one-on-one and absolutely. time with them. And another thing I do <clears throat> when he gets off the bus every single day just comes out how was your day i know what did you do today who did you play with yep and he gets annoyed sometimes totally the same kids i played with yesterday i remember hearing this and this is the the only one question but instead of asking kids that right who did you sit with today at lunch yeah yeah who did you play with at recess i yes yeah like so they can give you a specific one yeah with you know so and so today yeah so kind of see what the pattern is yeah yeah absolutely yeah recess is a big one i know our school (laughs) yeah or I'll ask, like, what's something funny that happened in school? Today? Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like that. yeah. And my sister she gets in the habit of asking Hunter this, and I like it. The uh, pit and peach. Oh, yeah. yeah. Peach and pit. Peach. And, peach. Yes. Yeah. The Kardashians do that, yeah. right? Yeah. I love and I, and I love that. And she wants to hear that. Like, no, I want to hear the highlight. And then also yeah. tell me the thing that wasn't the highlight today. I like that. Yeah. And, and you know what? Now that I think about it too, like getting somebody else, because mom and dad could maybe be annoying, but maybe getting another adult right. child. Yeah. Like yeah. anxiously ask that, like, hey, can you ask, you know, talk to them and see how things are going? Because sometimes yeah. they may open up somebody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it just, they might just find someone else that they connect with, you know, could be anyone they just feel more comfortable with and they'll just start opening up. Yeah. You know, like. That's like, I know, like we, you know, one day had a student in our office who was having a hard time opening up. And then the counselor asked if I could watch the students. The counselor had to go, you know, get something. And then I just sat in there and then I just noticed on the bag the student had all these like pins. And it was like the, you know, Friday the 13th mask and like all, it was like all like horror stuff. And, and you I love that. I love horror. Yeah. yeah. Like that's like, I love them. So I just rubbed the bat. I'm like, so what's your favorite, you know, what's your favorite scary movie? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And the next thing you know, we're literally talking like nonstop uh, about just like talking about our different movies uh, and old scary movie, new scary I movie, love that. like the corny scary yeah. movie. It's yeah. like, you know, and it just like little things like that. It's like little things you could look for, you know, little yeah. signs like that, that how you can start a connection and like just have a conversation right. and, and 
even if it's not like a full, you know, obviously relationship right in there with time, you know, it's all it takes to start one. You're right. Also, yeah. Yeah. Spark. Yeah. Opening dialogue. Yeah. Just open the dialogue. Yeah. 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 I love it. Well, thank you so much yeah, for thank you. pouring your wisdom. And You're welcome. You know what I love? I love that we're all moms going through this journey together. So we're going to have to lean on each other during these uh, yeah. pre-teen, yeah. teen years. Yeah. And then, you know what? Like, if it if all four of us have experienced this, I mean, all of moms and yeah. parents and, mm-hmm. you know, guardians are out there. They're they're dealing with this as well. So yeah. I hope that sharing this stuff, too, can help. And, like, we will also love to hear, I don't know, what you guys out there are also experiencing with your children and how you're tackling, mm-hmm. you know, um, the bullies, the social media. You know, maybe I think that big thing, too, with children today is depression. You know, maybe it's just yeah. more widely talked about, but I think that they're exposed to so much more. You know, so uh, yeah, their mental if, health. If, yeah, if this episode can help serve as like a community to share your information to help others. We'd appreciate yeah. that for sure. Would love that. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. See you next week. Bye. Bye.